Bracket number one, shareholder letter. I'm going to just read off some key highlights. And it starts, dear shareholders. It does, but we're going to read off some key highlights, and then we're going to go right to the summary because that's where the juice is. The last paragraph is actually where the juice is. And this thing is, is multiple pages yeah. long. Yeah, did you actually read it? I did. Hmm. But let's just do the key highlights and, and then... That's I'm, perfect because like, I, haven't, I haven't read it. I know. Uh, that's okay. I know. I, I'm looking forward to your opinion on it. Yeah, I'm ready to listen. Key highlights. Mm -hmm. Consolidated revenue, $789 million. Consolidated gap net income, $46 million. Consolidated adjusted EBITDA, $170 million. Average monthly unique users. This is a big one to pay attention to. $201 million. We actually referenced that last real word when we were talking about... Redfin only at about, I think, 40 million, if I remember correctly. Okay. Sorry about that. And just threw your phone off the table. Well, I, I needed to. Mm, is it blowing up? A little bit. Wow. It's popular. Nicole it's, White. It's, it's still low calling. Uh, visits, year over year growth, 27%. They had 2.2 billion visits on their website. Would wow. you like to have a website like that? I, I wouldn't mind it. Yeah, you wouldn't mind it. Well, because again, most of those people are probably putting in their contact information too. That's right. Uh, or for the year, 9.6 billion. So that was Even quarter better. four was the 2.2 billion, which is 27% year over year growth. 9.6 billion for the year. Uh, their mm -hmm. consolidated revenue. All right, so this is balance sheet and cash flow summary stuff. All right, we're going to stop talking all the boring stuff in a minute here. Nicole. I love it. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to glaze over here for a minute. We, we ended Q4 with a cash and investment balance of 3.9 billion. The highest in our history, up from $3.8 billion at the end of Q3. We have to stop saying Zillow's not making any money. They're starting to, they're starting to make some money, okay? Uh, their plan wasn't to make money from, from day one. All right, go to the summary. We're linking the entire shareholder letter in the description box on YouTube, which you should be subscribed to the YouTube channel. Real word, subscribe, hit the notification bell, but we're going to... Uh, post this article or this letter just like we do all the articles that we reference in the description box below All right, I'm going to the last paragraph. I'm gonna read it word for word. Please do it. Okay We are connecting services together for our customers using our low cost of customer acquisition across multiple products to compete against an industry of largely single point solution providers with high customer acquisition cost. We're using these low acquisition products that we have, meaning Zillow, because mm -hmm. this is from Rich Barton, the CEO, right. yep. to compete against an industry of largely single point solution providers with high customer acquisition costs. Remember that line. We now have the building blocks in place and our story ahead will be about execution and scaling as we strive to improve the digital experience for the broader industry alongside our partners. They did at one point mention- The partners. The partners, meaning yep. the real estate agents that they're yep. working with mm -hmm. through Flex programs, mm -hmm. growth mm -hmm. growth programs. Right. So if you're in Flex, if you're a growth partner of theirs, hats off to you, they mentioned you. That would be us. We continue to be in the early pages of the story and look forward to sharing future chapters with you in the quarters and years ahead. Okay. I've been saying for years, the individual, the solo agent is dead. Mm -hmm. When they say we're competing against an industry of largely single point solution providers, they are saying us, Zillow, who had 9.6 billion visitors last year, we're competing directly against solo agents, single point agents providers, mm -hmm. single point solution providers, right. because we have better tools. We have more value to offer to the consumer. Well, we also have way more traffic. We have way more too. traffic, but we're using this traffic, which is their low cost acquisition right. across multiple products. Yep. Think truly, I think realestate.com, which they now right. own, uh, you know, think their home segment, home buying segment, all mm -hmm. these products that they have. And they're handing them off to their partners who they did mention. Their partners, the Zillow Growth Partners. Feel good about it? I feel like it just. I feel good right now about it. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely yeah. right now. Mm -hmm. uh, they're handing those off to their partners, and they mentioned their their partners actually a little bit throughout this. There are people you'll see on the people on the internet really highlighting what I'm talking about: the single point solution providers, 
and saying Zillow is, is destroying the industry, the entire industry. Well, no, they've been clear. They are working with teams that are providing an Amazon-like experience to consumers that can be consistent in what they're providing. They're not working with individual agents. The individual agent is dead. The individual agent can't even buy zip codes anymore that used to buy them from Zillow. Now, when I say the individual agent is dead, I want to clarify, because I have actually a hard time saying this because I keep saying it and, and people get upset with me, people that I love, care about. I'm sure. That I know, yep. you know, that throughout the industry. Agents. Yep. That are single agents. So I do have a hard time saying this over and over again, despite it being true. Reason for that is these people are great people. I, I like these people a lot. But the reason you see some individual agents still having a lot of success mm -hmm. is they're not individual agents. Well, that's the biggest thing here. I mean, I guess you... They're classified as individual they're, agents for, they're, their, for their brokerage award. Right. For their, for their... Well, and that's why most of them are doing the single agent because they want the broker award. Which is fine with me, by no, the way. No, I love it. I mean, it, I, I, get, I totally get it, but... Like I know you're going to say, there's assistance. There's there's a there's, team of assistants behind them. There are people them. behind They're, them that are supporting them, helping them get their paperwork done, keeping them organized, maybe even doing like their their laundry for them, right. which is obviously super helpful, which I need. When you look but, at, at any top luxury agent in top markets, they're a lot of times classified as so a lot of teams, but sometimes as an individual agent. Yes. You're talking six, seven, eight employees as assistants and and showing agents running out on the tour and the on the showings and the and the buyers and that kind of stuff right. i'm not talking about that solo agent is right dead. that's a team business model 100 percent. they're just not calling themselves a team agreed awesome i love the model i'm talking about the agent who is by themselves relying on a brokerage who's not offering team-like support Team like branding. Well, because you could be on a team and still have zero support, though, too. Very true. I mean, I was on a team. I was still having to upload all my stuff into MLS. Good I was point. still ordering my own photos. I was I was still having to pay for my own mailing. Like I had zero yeah. support, but we were just like grouping our listings together. If you're in a boutique brokerage or a big brokerage that's offering team like support, that's giving you daily training, giving you leads to work holding you accountable mm -hmm. on those leads right supplying opportunities to market and brand yourself that would be a cohesive team environment right okay uh, but we all know that a lot of the big box brokerages are just sign on bonus throwing cash at them we're hearing a lot of cash lately Sit lots of cash being thrown out there hang your license that's the worst term hang your license because it basically means we're going to hang your license over here and you can hang yourself on your license because we're not going to give you any support right meaning your business not you personally those agents are dead because they have to wear 15 hats to, you know, in their defense, the, no single person can do it with the speed that this market's moving. Right. Uh, well, and they also have to figure out how to do over. it on their own. I yeah. mean, it's, it's one thing to like be doing it all on your own, but then to have to figure out everything that you do need to do on your own. I mean, that, that, that could take years too, just figuring it all out. And then obviously having to continue to do all of it. Yeah. I mean, it's, when you it's look exhausting. at these new models, Redfin, isn't promoting the use of individual agents, right? They have employees that have a number of people handling different segments of the transaction. Zillow, Realtor.com now are handing their leads out to a team-like structure that have multiple people being able to work these leads and the listing coordinator, transaction coordinator, all these, all these different things, right? You heard it from Rich himself rich barton co-founder and He's ceo and he, and he signed it with alan parker the cfo the chief financial officer remember they are a public traded company they didn't do it with their chief heart officer he didn't sign it with his human resource he didn't sign it with the agents of america or nar he signed it with his chief financial Wait, officer chief heart yeah office? you know like, some, some companies have a chief heart officer i've never yeah. heard of that like i thought HR. you were just blowing some smoke there no no hmm. no uh, they're about money at, at Zillow. They signed it with well, but their it is CFO. also to their, it is dear shareholder. So I guess this, the CFO does need to be involved. It, it makes sense. Yes, but he's signing off on their competition against an industry of largely single point solution providers. The single agent cannot compete against 9.6 billion visitors in a month. They can't brand them. They don't have time to brand themselves. Be a great negotiator. Be an educator for their consumers and for their community be able to farm and market to their community, be able be to writer, help their community, be a writer, help your family, be a photographer, keep your health in check, eat lunch. I mean, there's no time for any of that. Take a shower. No, there's, there is no time for that. 
And I would encourage you to read through this. Be educated. Don't be one of those agents who just complains about Zillow and complains about the agents making money off of Zillow. Listen, could the, uh, you know, the Zillow play here be in two years to get rid of even the teams they're working on? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. It could be. Nobody knows. What I will say is those teams that are utilizing that right now and then are investing in their local community, their local brand, that's going to pay dividends for the future because their community is going to remember that because they actually live in, the, in those areas. Right.